Yo, what is going on guys? DM and Lee here. So, so y'all seen on the title, today we're going to be swapping out the headlights in the GMC Yukon. Uh, that one's actually not my car, but we still do videos on it. Um, the reason for the, the headlight swapping, because those headlights on it right now, they're already kind of shitty and um, wore out. And then I found these headlights on Facebook Marketplace and um, I got them for a good deal. I asked the dude if he would take 80 and he said yeah. So, uh, we're about to go over them, check them out, and hopefully they're in good condition. And if they are, I'll go ahead and pick them up. So let's get it. I'm really hoping that um, these headlights are in really, really good condition. Um, he said that he ordered two pairs on accident, so that's why he said one pair. Hopefully, it's not another fail like the amplifier. Uh, as y'all seen um, that Robert Foskin amp that I had bought from the pawn shop. I was super excited about that one, but unfortunately, that was a fail. So I'm not even going to get my hopes up. Guys, look at this beautiful scenery out here. Look at that house. That is huge. Oh, this is a very beautiful jump now. I don't know if they can pick it up with the camera. Alright guys, so so far, uh, the deal seemed pretty good. Here's the guy right there. We just bought him off of him. Um, headlights look really good. Let me pull over here real quick. Kind of check them out. Kind of show y'all what we're working with. Like I said, these headlights are about 180 online. And I got them for 80 bucks. So, supposedly he said he bought two pairs on accident. So let's go check them out real quick. Let's go. today's video we're gonna be trying to install these I guess so we're back home now um, let me open up the second one make sure it's good you're gonna help them one you're gonna help them install them okay I don't want to scratch them Yeah, these look really nice. So here in a minute, I'm gonna get online and I'm gonna um, try to find the wiring diagram so I can uh, see how to wire all these wires. If I'm correct, those are gonna be for this AAD light strip and also the, the halo. So, yeah. Try whichever way. All right guys, so he's currently removing the original headlights. I haven't been able to find any um, wiring diagram to do um, these. And I looked up all on the internet and I can't find jack shit. So um, I'm gonna have to figure out something. Cause if I'm correct, isn't this, you know, like um, 
positive, well, ground in, and uh, what's it called? I'm pretty sure these are ground and power. Also ground and power. Um, I just, I, I don't know what all of these connect to. Unless all of these connect to this. I don't know. I'm, I might have to figure it out. Kind of lost right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try my best to um, figure out something. That's for sure. I'm gonna have to do more research. But in the meantime, he is uh, removing the headlights. We're following all the procedures. We're following all the steps that we've seen online on, or how people show them uh, the easiest way to take these off. They are a little bit of pain in the butt to take out, but uh, with a little bit of um, effort and wiggle to do it. All right, dude, uh, while you do this real quick, I'm gonna have to go research that wiring, right? That little one? What? Yeah, that's one. What about it? It won't come off. No. All right, guys, so he already removed the headlights. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to the store and get a voltmeter and everything, because um, supposedly the only way to wire these wires, I'm gonna have to tap those into the, the original wires here somehow, so. Um, it's a pain in the ass, especially because there's no videos online that show how to do it, uh, which that makes it super difficult. And then on top of that, I went on their websites and everything, and they just don't offer anything that's helpful. Uh, they show you the light once it's installed, but they don't show you the whole procedure to actually get the lights working and everything. And I mean, I don't want to just throw it in there and have, you know, just headlights working. That's the whole point about this, so I can, you know, it looks nicer with the daytime running lights right here and then the halo that's the whole point of these or aftermarkets if that was the case i would just stay with the stock so yeah that's where we're at right now let's we'll store real quick get a bolt meter and then we'll come back test these wires which ones um get the um which ones get like 12 volts with the headlights on and we'll tap those into the um daytime running lights daytime running led lights and the halo lights so that's where we're at right now and it's almost dark so we're gonna need light pretty soon so all right guys so we are back about an hour later like i said no videos online i couldn't find a single video or i went on amazon ebay where they originally sell them and stuff and even i went to the web chip web page and they have videos but they only have videos of what the lights look like installed and that wasn't helpful for us but i did a little bit of uh, experimenting and stuff and i found a way to make them work in terms of making the halo work and also the uh the side led lights work and i'm gonna show you out here in a minute how to do that but first i need to go to walmart and i'm gonna buy i need to buy some fuses and some very high quality wire because that's what i'm gonna need in order to make this whole setup work and i'm gonna show you in a minute how to make it work so let's go to walmart or wherever and let's get all the materials then we'll come back and i'll explain to y'all how to do it hey buddy hey miguel <coughs> don't fall i guess he found something that he's gonna want to buy you paying for it or am I paying for it? I'm definitely buying it. Okay. So we're here at Walmart, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna show y'all. If I can find the right materials or the right stuff that I'm gonna need, uh, I'll show y'all here and say, are you going that way? Or are you going with us? Oh, I need to get a You wanna go ahead and split? Yeah. Then I'll I meet you in the middle. I'm scared you fall out. Are you buying the chair though, for sure? Oh yeah, I'm getting the chair. All right, but, but yeah, guys, so. Um, like I said, I'm gonna need some wire, some fuses, some, uh, maybe like two-way connectors, tape, and yeah. Alright guys, so the, this is what we're gonna need in terms of the fuse. We're gonna buy two of them, one for each headlight. All this is just a, a fuse in line, and we're going with this kind of, um, specific one and uh, they also have this fuse holder this one uses the uh the bigger kind of fuses like that and this one uses the smaller ones but with this install i'm gonna go with this one the atm hhm fuse holder which it uses these kind of fuses and i'm gonna take 30 amp fuses 
and that's where we're gonna put in the line okay guys so i got the fuse holder uh this is what we're gonna need on each side of the headlight tape and then we're buying an electrical wire uh, so we can get more extension and that should be it so let's go ahead and head home and i'm gonna show you how to wire this all right guys so we're back um like i said we searched everywhere on youtube we went to the amazon page the actual website from the headlights um let's try and get some help in um order to find out how to wire all these you know all these wires and shit and there was no help there's no videos out there that show how to do it so i found a way to do it um and i'm gonna show you here in a minute what how i'm personally gonna do it you don't have to follow this way if you don't want to but that's how i'm gonna make it work for my car um so here's what you're gonna need went to walmart and i got some 12 gauge um red wire this is gonna be for power and then i got some 16 gauge black wire that's gonna be for ground and then i bought two of these kinds of fuses um i did buy this one too but i don't like this style so i'm gonna go with this style uh let me go ahead and open it real quick so this is what this one all right so this is all this one is so you can see um <clears throat> and i'm gonna show you why i'm gonna need this here in a minute also with that i bought here they got some 30 amp fuses that are going to go in the fuse holder so this and then there's going to be one for each headlight so this is going to be for one headlight and then there's a second one that i have that's going to be for a headlight and i'm going to show you how to we can get all these wiring hooked up you know, because all that wiring powers the halo it powers these uh three led lights and it powers this um led strip right here that's what all that wiring is for um some people maybe install the headlight without even wiring it up and you know they just use the obviously the bulbs but in terms of uh our case i want the whole headlight to function so we're gonna make that work <clears throat> all right guys so first step to this you're gonna grab all these white wires and put them together same goes for the black wires put them together and then you're gonna grab all the red little wires put these together and also the little black wires put them together and what you're gonna do you're gonna grab once you put the red ones together go ahead and tie them in with the white ones as well so like that and go ahead and so you're gonna get all these together so as you can see now it's all four red and white together like i said now with the black ones same way we're gonna wire them all together like that so this right here eliminated all your wiring see there's no more wiring exposed and now here's where this comes into place because this these uh positive wires the red ones and white ones these are going to be tapped in wiring on and i'm gonna show you why i need the fuse and like i said i picked this specific wire um fuse holder which uses these little fuses this is a 30 amp i don't think you should need more than that so you're gonna put that in here make sure you put the fuse don't forget about the fuse and now what we're gonna do we're gonna wire it into the our red and white ones that are already connected together and go ahead and slice this a little bit more okay. <clears throat> all right so now here's the fuse holder wire i already tapped it in and wired it together with the two whites and the two reds as y'all can see now we're going to go ahead and tape it up in more professional cases you can use um what's it called like wire connectors and stuff but in this case i'm going to use uh just electrical tape uh make sure you at least use the very high quality type of electrical tape so let me go ahead and tape it up and then i'll show you in a minute what it looks like all right so there you have it uh, like i said look pay attention to the wiring two whites two reds together and then this is going to connect to the wire uh the fuse holder and then this 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 part of the fuse uh holder uh, i'm gonna attach an extended wire that's what i bought the the red uh wire for and then this is going to tap into the um the wire that's on the harness of the yukon and i'll show you all why here in a second 
Bring the other headlight. All right, guys, so everything's wired up. So look, like I said, all the black wires are tied together and then I put an extended wire because for now, I'm just gonna get ground from the actual battery until I actually can find a good place to get uh, permanent ground from. And then all your white and red cables. So as y'all can see right here, uh, both reds and both whites, uh, they're all connected together or wired together. Then they go into the single wire, which it goes into a fuse. And now the the end of this wire is gonna connect to uh, my harness, which I got a test voltmeter and I tested each little um, terminal right here. And um, I checked which one had the most highest voltage while the headlights were on and was actually this one right here. <clears throat> this one showed to be the highest voltage with low beams uh, on. So this is where i'm gonna be tapping in my um what's it called my my wire so i can get power to uh these uh the halo and then the led lights right here and uh the bar over here and that's where all this wiring is for pretty much all this wiring is for all those uh leds on the headlight for the uh halo and everything so uh let me go ahead and uh tap it in and i'm gonna show you how it looks all right guys so this is what it's gonna look like y'all see on my car there's a green wire a black wire which is going to be ground and then this, this is your brown wire on my car the brown wire to my car is for the low beams and the green one is for the high beams so i'm tapping into the low beams because that's what most people usually use for the most time and while this is on the low beams it's going to give power to the halos and the led lights on the headlight and all that stuff. i looked everywhere online and i couldn't find any video that explained on how to solve this wiring issue and everything I even went to their pages on Amazon and I went to the actual um, headlight place or the headlight website and nothing. Couldn't find any helpful videos. Uh, no videos were helpful for me. So um, like I said, you don't have to do it this way. If y'all don't feel comfortable at all, take it to a mechanic. Just better safe than sorry. But there's a way that I'm doing it. And like I said, um, in case of any shorts or anything like that, um, this fuse obviously will burn out first and then no power will be going to the headlights and so it doesn't burn out the headlight and stuff like that so now that we have this power tapped into the actual harness of the of the uh the car's harness uh let me go ahead and kind of demonstrate y'all so right now i'm tapping the i'm grabbing yeah. ground from the battery and this is like i said this is tapped into the harness of the car so go I'm ahead lock it. as y'all can see that's what's powering all the the halo and the led lights and also this little led bar right here i couldn't find any video that explained to me how to get this wired so that's that's my you know do-it-yourself hack that i'm doing so uh if this works for y'all go ahead and give it a try if y'all don't feel comfortable with it you know i suggest taking it to a mechanic but hey <clears throat> i'm rigging it myself so for me, it, it's working. Are you satisfied with the way it is? Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, like we're it. just gonna leave it as this. Um, you didn't ask me. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and um, let me show you. Let me show you one more time. Watch. So let me show you one more time. It, it's it looks very confusing, but just listen to what I'm saying. Grab all the white wires and all the red wires and uh, wire them together, and then they're gonna be wired to just one single wire which is going to be tapped into your fuse and then this is going to go run and tap into your um one of your wires on your little um connector harness just make sure um that you use a voltmeter and turn on the headlights and put them on low beams and test each um little wire and make sure which one has the highest voltage consistency and that should let you know that it's either low beam or high beam for this car for the yukon 2012 yukon denali it was the brown wire it might be the same wire for all the other yukons but i'm not sure but for this one it was the brown wire and i can see it's tapped in so this it has this connection that i really haven't figured out what it's for i looked everywhere like i said i bought these headlights off someone so he had no instructions and online it doesn't explain what this is for so um as far as i know i don't know so i'm gonna leave that off just like that for now until i figure out what it is for so let's go ahead and reinstall the headlight back on get everything wired up and cleaned up and i should do it so 
I'll pick it back up in the next clip. All right, guys. So this this light's already installed. I'm gonna show you one more final time. I'm gonna show you one more time about this wiring. So like I said, all black wires tied together to one single wire that goes. Um, I actually ended up grounding it to the actual harness, the original uh, connector one harness right here. It has a ground, and I ended up grinding it to that. Originally, I had told you I was going to use the battery, but instead, we ended up just using the wire from the harness. And then, all the white and red wires are tied together to one wire, comes to a fuse. And then, uh, on this side of the uh, car, or on this side of the light, the color of this one was yellow instead of uh, brown like the other side. So, on this driver's side, it's yellow that we're tapping into. That's for the low beams. So, Go ahead and fire it up. The, we're gonna go ahead and give it a test run, make sure that they all turn on. So there you have it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and finish it all up now, and then we'll give you a final um, clip of what they look like. So stay tuned. Are they installed? Yeah. Turn on the lights. I'm gonna go pick up my pizza. All right, guys, so what do y'all think? Here's the finished product. My opinion, they look. Hey, we got a problem. We got a problem. The bulb. It's out. But anyways guys, uh, I just noticed that the bulb is out on this side. Probably have to order a new bulb because I don't think they sell those in town. But besides that, uh, I think they look really good. So yeah, uh, I think this was, was a decent score. I mean, I paid $80 for them. Uh, makes the car look really good. So if you have any questions, comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. But anyways guys, until next time, peace out.